How are you? How are you? Uh, good. good. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. Hi, great to see you again. Yes. So, this will be the second online meeting. Um, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> and Frank and Kate, we're all here. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be um, um, interesting uh, to know Ploy's uh, or CryptoPond's uh, progress. She's been uh, seeing and visiting many villages and uh, she finally has uh, selected uh, some sites that she wants to focus. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll let you both uh, continue then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Do you see the screen that I'm sharing? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, um, anyway, how about your, like, your health? You said you've been sick. Yeah, I feel better now. Um, I took, a, like, a medication for five days and it ended, or it technically ends today, so I feel I feel, feel good, yeah. It's good to hear. Um, yeah, so uh, I have selected this site that, yeah, and I, um, I went to like, did a, I went to do a, like a survey to see, you know, because um, I found these walls that I can put the banners on and I went to ask them like what kind of pictures do they want to like put on and um, they choose this one like the one with many things um, the waterfalls, tulips, other flowers, I don't know, mountains and then the, the, the interesting part is like some of them like misunderstood that I would like um, give them some posters to for them to put in their houses, and so yeah, so I I asked them that too, like what kind of posters do they want to have in their houses, and it's in, it's interesting that they don't choose the same thing, you know, like they choose this. Um, more magical one for for the for the wall outside of their houses, but they choose something that they feel more comf comfortable with. For example, um, beaches or mountain. Mm, not nothing like not so you know. Um, not so exotic. Yeah, and okay. So, yeah, I think it's like a good point to see, you know, when it's like they're enjoying something foreign outside of their houses, but they don't want it, but they don't want to bring those foreign stuff inside their houses and they feel more comfortable with, with something that they already know. Um, yeah, this is the site. Um, there is the wall here, and I'm putting the banners in um, on these walls, and then another one as a foreground, uh, as a background here. Yeah. The foreground look, looks like this, but I'm gonna change. Like I'm gonna edit the banner better than this one. This, this is just an example, and um, the background looks looks like this. Like when you see from this perspective, it would be like you know, um, like a long walk, like longer walk into 
those garden, the garden. Mm -hmm. um, um, as I told you on my email, mm -hmm. um, you received it, right? Yeah. Yes. It was really late. <laughs> um, yeah, I. Um, it was. What's uh, this? What's this wall? Is the wall like next to the the walls? The the do you see my um my mouse? My yeah. Computer? The walls that I'm putting the ban banners on is on like this side, and this one is like. Okay. Um, yeah, this one is I'm considering on put to put in a a banner too, but then. This is the garden that I, I, I talked about. It's really, really small, but it's possible to like put some plants, plant some plants on it. Um, and um, I was talking with the team and I think it's, it's interesting if, if the, the banner here is like, um, is, you know, is without trees like it's the same one with the one here but without trees without plants here and then we just plant the real one the real plants in this instead mm. Mm. but um at first that i i wasn't like considering this this wall because um it's it's a it's a wall that um the resident cannot see, you know, because the resident, um, yeah, is here, is in, on this side, and the residents are here. So I think it's just these walls would be enough. But if um, if we were to put some plants to decorate in front of these walls, I I think it would be nice to like to plant them on the garden here. Mm. Mm. Um, I was talking about like ceremonies in Thailand that they, they like to put some plants, you know, to decorate. Um, this one here is from my hometown. It's like, um, it's a town that's famous for flowers. So, you know, every, um, every year they put up this um, events and they put on many flowers and then when they wither they just throw them away. This one is a funeral. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's new for me too. I haven't seen like this kind of funeral. Normally it's like flowers, you know. Um, and this one is the democracy monument. When, when the protesters was, uh, when the protesters were going to in in this area, um, the officers put on like decorate the monument with these plants. Normally, you can walk in there. Mm. And they say here that like don't enter. And uh, one day the protesters the protesters came and took them out. But I'm not sure where, like, if they throw, threw it away or not, because it would be considered, you know, destroying um, um, the government's property. So I don't know what they did with the plants. But yeah, I think it's interesting that the function of plants and flowers here, like in these pictures, are different. Mm. Um, and it would be interesting to like to decorate some some plants here, like a ceremony kind of, and then um, uh, except no like, and then like um, not throwing it away like mm, normal ceremonies, but plant plant them in the garden in the garden when you know for them to grow more. Not with her. Yeah, hmm. that's my update. Okay. 
Uh, so when when are these banners going to be installed? When? Yeah. Is this uh, final? Uh, like the end of your? It's like the final presentation. No, not yet. Um. Um. um the banners, the foreground banner is going to be. I, I have to improve it more and then um, they will be put on um, before 10th of January. Okay. Yeah. And about the short story. I don't know. Do you think it's like not so related to this? But the, the, the dialogues and transcription they are all from this area mm -hmm. but yeah as i said that the banners are things that i want to bring in for them to see and the short stories short story is the thing that i want to bring out for for the audiences outsiders to see okay and in the play you're talking about will be I, at the end no, no, no. I, um, at first, I, um, it was this area, there is this Lique performance, which is, which um, they normally put on the, the show to like every year to, you know, when, when they pray at the shrine, there is a shrine there. It, it, yeah, and then if they get what they pray for, they give the shrine this Lige performance, you know, as a payback. So I was interesting. I was interested in that um, Lige performance, and I was thinking it would be nice to like to put on a show in front of the banner because. You know, they also have like some kind of a backdrop that looks like the banner. Mm. So yeah, but I think I I really consider it, and I think um, I don't know um, planting flowers with the residents would be nicer, would be more related or something. Mm. Okay, so how and so how is the uh, you said these um, mm. fragments of conversations? How so? How does that work with the the banner? How, yeah. How will you present that? Um, you mean the conversation, the transcription? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Is that is the conversation that that I went to talk with the residents um, like I question I I ask them like what kind of um, view do they want to see and, and then some of them went on telling me their about their lives and stuff and I yeah I think that's that and the area like they come from the same area is is the connection, but um, I still struggle to find the connection between the short story that I'm, I'm making the short story from only their dialogues. Like I cut my um, my lines out, yeah, and I will not put any. Um, I don't, you not put my words in it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So your question was <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh, you, it, I, um, it, I don't know. It just came to my mind. Or I'm just like, re like reacting, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's like, I, I think these conversations could be just 
like recorded, like reenacted in in audio. Just recorded, presented with it. Once the banner is done, there may be just like a just a speaker, um, and it like it just has these fragments of conversations, but maybe performed by people from your team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do, but I I, I, it reminded me of certain like projects that artists that's that that's done here in Taiwan. Okay. I I personally don't do things like that, but it just reminded me. Like I think it's it's always interesting for the for the audience, especially your interviewers. Uh, interviewees um, to to hear to hear themselves okay. and how they're translated. Like I think they they would just find this beautiful or funny or whatever. You know, if when it's when their words were, are spoken yeah. by someone else, but mm -hmm. how it was just reminding me. That. And also, just technically, I think it's something not so difficult to do because mm -hmm. uh, you just kind of play it during your uh, kind of like a opening presentation day or something. Mm -hmm. It could also just be in the background. I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. but I guess you have enough to do if you, if you were to plant that many flowers. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot to do, yeah. So, but I no, I think it's it's all you know interesting and part of the process. It, it seems like a lot will happen after you, after you um, put up the banner. Because mm. I think that all the reactions to it um, mm -hmm. yeah, will make its way into this work later on, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, I was thinking about that too for some time, but you know, there are people in, in, the, in that area who don't like each other. Like, um, because there is one, family that came like not long ago and and the others residents they consider this family outsiders and like they don't talk to each other even though their houses are just like in front of each other and yeah and some of the residents um uh, Sometimes I didn't ask them for the for before the interview, so I don't know if it's yeah. If it's like okay. you know, their privacy. Yeah, I guess. Um, uh, well, I guess that's why editing is um, will be important, you know. Uh, we if you do this, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I think I, artistically is is funny or interesting, you know. But yeah, of course there. Are, but but really in in reality, uh, mm -hmm. that's just people. I mean, that's anywhere. It's not just that community. I mean, I hate people in my community. Many of them. <laughs> so. <laughs> and, uh, so, and that's why I think when it's reenacted, it's also not, it's not, it, it, it's, it's not like your, your, you know, your, your, uh, projecting your recorded audio. Oh, okay. When it's reenacted, it's, it's kind of like a, it could be kind of like a soap opera, you know, so you, you could have a more comedic mm -hmm. approach to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or you say, oh, it's kind of based on these conversations. 
Mm. And it doesn't, it, yeah, because I think it's just about, <coughs> Mm-hmm. No, I think normal people, I, they have a lot of gripes. Unless you're like, you know, re- one of those few like very saintly people who don't have any enemies and they <laughs> or, and they say all nice things about everyone. That's that's not normal. That's that's they are, <laughs> but uh, for normal people, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, because you hear this from, um, like, uh, yeah, I hear from my neighbors, uh, different neighbors that I talk to. They talk about each other. Yeah. And then I talk about, (laughs) (laughs) I don't like to a lot of people. So it's, um, yeah, yeah, so if, if, if you, if this is something to consider, then you will have to, I think make it an effort to make it a story uh, mm. and not so, and yeah, and be, I think be light kind of about it. Of course, it's not just all going to be gripes about things because just from that list of people that the, the diagram you showed, mm-hmm. just by reading that, like what each person did, um, it, it's kind of interesting, um, and, and in fact, it may like if 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 those some of these descriptions of different people are um, are elucidated or or, or are uh, like if it was in the dialogue, it, and somehow it was. Um, made known what these people did in their daily lives it actually may help uh, the community to know more about each other and what each other do um, which not it's not going to solve their problems <laughs> they don't hate each other but at least maybe they could be more sympathetic because um, you know you know, and it doesn't, of course, it's not going to focus on Mm. on conflicts people have. It's just going to mostly, I imagine it'd be mostly about what they did uh, in their work and and what they like. And so, Mm. yeah, so that, yes. So Mm. I guess I'm just thinking like these, these conversations are, are interesting. Um, like uh, uh, discoveries to to do something with. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, but at first, like, I was thinking to, um, I don't know, because you told me about artist in interve- intervention and I thought like what do I want to what do I want them to see mm-hmm. um, I think I'll figure it out because like most of the residents um, actually the villagers like in um, from other areas as well they they think that their lives are like good enough and like everyone is suff- everyone is suffering the same you know um, um, because they are, um, the pandemic is everywhere and they, they don't think like that their lives can be better and they don't blame the government and what I, what I want them to see is like <laughs> that they can blame the government and that their lives can be um, much better. And yeah, um, as I told you about the, the, this one outsider, is the only house that really hates the government. And yeah, I think, I think that's what I want to, I, that's what I want to tell them, but um I still yeah 
I still cannot think about like um, much better way, which is like um, not too obvious, you know, like that that I'm like um, leading them to believe what I want them to believe. Mm. Mm. But but the the thing that you said about like telling them their stories and who they are and yeah I think that might make them more sympathetic. But, like, yeah, I think it's interesting. Hmm. Okay, that's yeah. I'm wow. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite uh, not not a very political person, uh, mm -hmm. or at, at least off mm -mm, they're not not intentionally uh, mm -hmm. in my artwork in my practice that I don't. It, it's not my intention, to, mm -hmm. but often, but. Uh, Mm. But in the end, with uh, any, I think any kind of community-based thing, it, 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 whether you intend to or not, I guess you, you will face kind of more political, social mm. situations. So that's, no, I guess that's, that's also bespeaks of your generation too that are i think much more um proactive in in um political issues so i i don't i don't know i don't have suggestions mm -hmm. um for yeah maybe after our conversation <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, I think of something, yeah. Mm. So, but that's it's really interesting, mm. especially with the the banner, you know, of this like magical <laughs> purple. Um, I I guess it if you look at it that way, it does have a very I'm not gonna say sinister, but there's something else going on in the in this kind of like almost like an over the top landscape. You know? it, it's not it's because it's also highly embellished. Uh, and awesome. you know, like it's not like a normal. <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> there's something strange already. Um, mm. I guess it's it's a matter of time. I think you, you come up with the right um, element mm. to to subvert it or add on to this this mm. weird imagery in ways that who knows what what happens. It, it could happen. Mm. You come up with something when you're planting those flowers, you know, which is another, um, because the references that you use to mm. do those flowers are also like not, um, it's also very subversive because you, you use religious, uh, political, they have religious and political ramifications. Uh, mm. And normally, people I imagine the mass public they don't think about that. It's just it mostly I think it's decorative. Um, but in your case, it's it's not it's not so. It's actually quite sociological, political. Um, yeah. So so yeah. So, so I think it's. Um, yeah, you you'll come up with something. I think mm. so, right. it's yeah. So it's a matter of uh, finding finding the right form for that. Mm. 
Iya. Yeah. I guess it has to work yeah. somehow to like what you said about what you want to mm. project for the residents. Mm. I think it has to go through that banner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so like <laughs> it's so in your face, you know, it's so big, you know. Um and they have to live with it. Like so that's yeah. And that's also that's very yeah, unlike my own practice. Mm -hmm. I'm actually quite like I I think it, it, it like invisible mm. I to assimilate in a way that you don't know um so it's a very different i find it's you know i think it's an interesting mm. approach because because you yeah like i said it's just like this humongous um crazy landscape <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, but I am sure you, you figure it out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but mm. I also like this. Some um, I also talk with some other people from from the community, but they are like they are like old people that always hang out at. Um, um, the Ligate Theater, and almost all of them um, ask me question about ask me about the if I join the protest, and yeah, I think it's interesting that like they don't really talk to their children or like because they don't talk politics about um, with their children, but me as an outsider and the area that we met is like is the community area is the common area so they were um because we are not gonna like live together forever so they were like yeah they wanted to know about the protest and it's better to ask to talk with the outsiders, but and they talk really openly. Mm. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No one wants to talk about politics, or mm. you know, when you're in family, because mm. everyone knows where their stance is. So, yeah. And oftentimes, it just it will just yeah, it's more arguments or mm. yeah. It, you know, I guess, yeah. But could you give me a uh, like mm. a general, like a uh, the, the the like the general background of the protest? Because I'm uh, not very aware of the the Thai. So protest. now we have the we have the, our government is is. Um, military government. They did. They they, um, they took over from the coup seven years ago. I think seven years already. And um, we had election last year, but it was really obvious that they cheated because they wrote their own benefiting constitution and yeah so they were elected mm. again mm. but now the protests okay i think half of them like or like the young generation they are focusing on um the monarchy mm -hmm. because there is because there is this um this law called i don't know laissez ma is is French. It's like when you talk bad about the monarchy, you get arrested for you. 
you go to jail like 15 years or something. Um, it doesn't make sense. And um, the monarchy, you spend a lot of money that's from our tax. So yeah, like the king used to live in Germany. He rented half of the hotel for his servants and wives. And yeah, people are protesting against that. But some of them, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to touch the monarch because um, they're still like the previous king, or some of them just don't want to exclude ex exclude the people who who hate who hate the government but still like the monarch. Mm. So it's, it's like that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I think this this community has really strong love for the monarch, like especially all residents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the milk factory um, is like the open, it was opened by the previous king, like it has like that his name has the king, like, you know, the king's um, kind of, like in the king's care or something. Mm. So they most, mostly, most of them are um, royalists. Mm. What factory? They, Milk. Milk. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Most, a lot of, um, villagers here, they um, they own cows and they sell milk, mm. but not but not the area that I the site that I um, that I'm working in because they came later. You know, they are, most of them work at fac um, factories, but they don't own cows. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Um act is well more before a lot a lot of young generation like a lot of um young people they don't they weren't really interested in politics. It just happened like um few years ago, like two, one, two years. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah, it's a global movement, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have, uh, yeah, I'm kind of not, not a, mm -hmm. can't give much feedback on, on this subject. I'm just like, yeah, like I said, I try to stay away in a, in a way, mm, I, I can't say it's generational, um, but it it's yeah, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Can't <laughs> talk much about political mm. approach to things because I guess my own my work is so it it's. I think it's also. A lot of it's fault, um, but it's very personal in, in the sense that, like, almost like farming, um, it could be very political it, if you want it to be, of course. It could be linked up to be, but what I mean is, like, but if you're focusing if you were if you were a farmer, 
if you were just focusing on how the touch of soil feels to your hand and how the natural elements affects your your mind or body or how you how you have to live your life every day according to the seasons um it's I find that more interesting in mm. a way than if I was to talk about the social, economic, and political ramifications of, mm. of profit or land rights mm. used, um, related to, mm-hmm. to subsistence or, you know, like, so I'm, that's what I mean. Like I, I feel like I'm, I'm more interested in the, in the natural botany of the plants than, <laughs> than the fucking tax office uh, things I have to deal with. I, I guess that's what I mean. But I'm also very, I think, irresponsible politically. <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. And um and I think it, it kind of happens later on, because mm. uh, you know because you cannot disengage yourself. Like I, I can be romantic and say say what I just say, mm. said about you know touching the soil or whatever. Um, but mm. I guess it, I I leave that part of it to. To, I mean, I think that's that's good. I, I think it's that finds itself. It, those subject matters finds itself in my writings, um, where I think it, it. I think subjects like those kind of deserves a bit more clarity with with thinking things through. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, instead of visually, which I don't. I it's it would be hard for, for me. To do yeah yeah um yeah i think most of the residents are really romantic like you know they they talk about that they talk about beauty and be- the beauty of life the beauty of you know one of the family um they they have like there there are five of them i think like including a blind grandfather and a really old almost blind grandmother and a crippled cat that cannot walk and um two kids and they think that their life their lives are like enough and they like okay, I think yeah. And one dog and one more cat. Yeah, like they they took in all of these poor animals like to you know to make married. Like yeah, but their lives are still like struggling. But they they are romanticizing. I think it's okay if like if is if you are. You know, sus like what is what is it? What is it called? Like um, if your life is like already sustainable, is it is it the word? Yeah, like if your life is like okay, and then hmm, but it's obviously they are obviously struggling. Mm. So I think like that. That's why I want to send them like a message that um, their lives can be better, and mm. because it's good for their children to something like that. I can show you some pictures in the community. Um, so maybe you can.
this is the the area mm. the house is like small this is the wall that i'm putting banners on this is a the theater and it's like it's right in like it's right across the um, the shrine. Mm. This is the Lique performance. Is as you can see the banner, it looks it almost looked like looks like my banner. Mm. The old people that always hang out there. I play shakers with them. Oh, and, <laughs> and surprisingly, they are really good. Like, I lost mostly. Um, um, the other, sorry. You should gamble. They'll like you more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, even though the, the, their political view is like different from mine, they still, you know, adore me as like the, um, the kid. Mm. Mm. Uh, I also went to pray at the shrine. Mm. It's, yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. Mm. Good. Did I share the screen like before? Yes. Huh? Um, did I did did you see the pictures? Did I share the screen before? Like, uh, I think there were there were some additions to it. Uh, there's there's more like entries in it, right? I have I do have another document. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah, the the transcription are in Thai, so I would mm. love to let you see it because it's it's really interesting, but in Thai, so Hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so you have a lot to, uh, I guess you have a lot to, to work on. Um, and, and you'll still, so this next month, you'll continue, continue to go back to the community and and talk to people or you feel like you've done enough next month yeah this I, coming... I feel like I, I have done enough mm. at okay. first I was considering between two sides uh, um, the theater and the row houses mm. but now I think I have decided on yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I kind of forgot. Like so, at the so when is like your final Sign. on this whole project? Um, February, like the. Okay. Um, yeah, the the gap we are showing the archive from 
from our in the gallery in the gallery on February. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, so it's yeah. I I don't. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't. I wasn't sure. So oh, okay. So it's quite condensed. You have to finish. So. <laughs> so okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I get. Oh yeah. So it's a lot. Uh, yeah. When when you put up the banner, that's quite a. Uh, quite a, like a, more than midpoint, right? Hmm. So, okay. Okay. <sighs> I, guess, um, I also um, have to study too. So yeah. Oh, okay. Other classes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess we're coming somewhat to the end. Yeah, we so we exchanged a few, a couple emails. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I guess I don't have much to add, but uh, mm. like um, I was telling, but I think there was one point in my email I told you I, well, I, I wasn't able to explain was like um, I found. Like, I found myself <clears throat> like a, a few times when I was invited to different uh, kind of residencies or missions mm -hmm. to other countries um, mm -hmm. to do something. I like I didn't. I looking back, I guess I, it's only be because you asked because I, I kind of forgot what I did before and uh, mm. I realized a few times I um I I went there because I didn't know what I was going to do so I just picked out a, a book by an author of that country mm. and the base something from that you know and uh, and uh, so in this case uh, I did something about uh, about Pedro Paramo because mm. I've never been to Mexico and um, mm. but I read this book so mm. I thought it's a good starting point for me and um, mm. and then but what was really crazy was like <laughs> I this book when I saw it I, I, I just found it in a in a secondhand store in mm. In Canada, actually, some mm. years ago or something, and uh, fifteen years ago, or maybe less. And, and uh, but, and I, I've never like read the. I didn't know the author, um, mm. but I had a, and it was really one of the first books I, I bought based on a criteria my best friend told me. Come, mm. Incidentally, I have two best friends who are in the States. Mm. They're both writers. Mm. And, uh, and one of them told me that, you know, when you choose a novel to buy, mm. this is a very good tip, uh, is you just read the first page. Mm. And if you like it, if you s still want to go on, mm -hmm buy it <laughs> yeah so and that was one one of the few times i used his rule mm. and i read the first page and i was like what the hell <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> yeah, I buy it and so i was like and then later i was like wow this is what, what a crazy book you know and um and and i thought it was quite obscure because i never heard of it or the author or anything about it. And um, because you only hear about the, the very famous, you know, South mm. American writers, you know, mm. Vargas Rosa or Marquez and Octavio Paz, some poets. And so, and I, so I thought it was very, 
very special. Like, wow, what a interesting, like not so well known or something. And then, so, mm-hmm. but then when I went to Mexico, <laughs> and, uh, I think this was at that time people don't Google as much because this was 2013. At least I didn't. It wasn't so prevalent then. But anyways, I so I went to Mexico and I wrote a proposal saying, "Oh, I'm gonna do something about this book there." And uh, and then when I get there, I I learned that people like Mexicans have that read have to read that book in high school. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, like. So for me, I thought it was like some experimental, interesting book, you know. But the local community were like, "Okay, you're here's this like, you know, like Chinese Asian guy that's gonna tell me something about like our founding father or something that was like really, really funny." Um, but but nonetheless, uh, I still went on to do what I set out to do, and uh, and quite. Surprisingly, interesting things happen in that in this short journey. I won't talk to you about it because there's so many details. And uh, and uh, and so I, yeah. So that's what I meant. I won't tell you how I approached it, but because um, I've done several uh, works like this. Um, and each one is very different because you relate to it differently and depending on where you you, you actualize it. Um, so anyway, that's a funny anecdote. And another interesting anecdote is uh, Juan Ralfo, mm. the author. He's actually a photographer. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's quite, for me, like, like, what I found out later on was quite interesting. And that book is actually, I found in bookstores in Mexico, there was also editions where um, he, oh, this is actually, this has some kind of a relationship to you. Uh, in that, th- there was like a, there was like a photograph mm. edition mm. to one of the books of this, of the same book with photographs. But the photographs is because he, I think, I won't say it's based on, but he actually did it, made a series of photographs of these very uh, indigenous um, tribes uh, or just very traditional tribes Mm -hmm. in the mountains of Mexico, um, these communities. And, And somehow the stories are, not directly about them, but I think it came from this, this, uh, this photographic journey he went on. Mm. So that that was quite interesting. Mm. Yeah. So that and that this is somewhat has a relationship to your the oh well, the the field work you're doing now. Mm. Um, and, uh, so that's that's that. Mm. Yeah. And here. Do we still have some time? Like, or do I we guess it's coming up to an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a profound conversation. <laughs> Where are you now, In Where is that room? Your house? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's our small library. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Thank yeah. Thank you so much, Wei Li. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm so interested uh, in the way you brought and the, also how you've been trying to analyze how the view between both of you and uh, yeah we we're gonna have um, 
Okay, I I lost the sound. I mm. can't hear you. Okay. I was telling that it was really important to to hear your explanation and also how you analyzed the differences view be, between you both. And uh, I think we 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 have a lot to. Um, to consider how to move on now and yeah okay right send you some progress later okay that the situation won't be so bad um i mean from the pandemic after this hmm. the, um, the numbers of the patients are um, increasing every day yeah but we're still heading to, yeah, to complete within February, yeah. Okay. So we have one more session, right? Is that? Yes, yes. right. It's one or two? It's one, right? One. Uh, okay. We only have one, one left, yeah, in the next meeting. Okay, so it's, it will be uh, end of February? Around twenty ten. Yeah. 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 Around uh, January, January yeah. seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see everyone again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad it's helpful. It's also. Yeah, because I don't teach, so I don't, I, you know, I, it's kind of, I wouldn't say pressure, uh, and, uh, but uh, I, tr I try to be as uh, helpful as I can. Yeah, and, uh, and since a uh, ploy uh, writes emails, so that's, we, I can, we, we will also exchange a few more emails, I think. That's that seem we also communicate well, I think, in writing too. So yeah, so we yeah. probably do that. So yeah, welcome to uh email me if yeah, if you if you like. Yeah. Great. So okay. how you recover? Yeah, I, oh it's weird, but uh but it was a combination of a lot of different elements. But I feel, yeah, I feel better. So it's good. It's good. Okay. So have a nice day. Happy you too. Happy okay. New year. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.